it's your girl yada yes and i'm here with a word from my good father yes i am guys i came to bless somebody okay god it told me go encourage my children i don't know who it is for but i know it's for someone and hey i pray that you catch this word by faith and you catch it in the spirit okay all right guys if you're new here hi welcome 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 what's up okay when you here you family so go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video okay if this message blesses you feel free to hit the like button okay if the holy spirit leads you to go ahead and comment and share all right guys before we get into this word we gonna go ahead and pray in the holy spirit because y'all know we don't do nothing here without god okay all right pray with me family father god we come to you today as humble as possible lord just thanking you for who you are god we thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy, Lord Jesus. We thank you for keeping us yet another day, Lord Jesus. God, I ask right now that this flesh just stand down, Lord Jesus. Let Yada begin to step aside and the Holy Spirit begin to fill me up and speak to your children, Lord. God, speak through me. Send this message forward as you see fit, Father God. Let Yada be seen and not heard. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, amen, amen. All right, family, listen. I got this word, listen to me. And God gave me this word. It may feel like a whipping, but it's, I am here to, um, to strengthen you, okay? To encourage you, okay? God sent me here to encourage you and to also remind you of who you are, all right? So let me tell you, the word says, God said, your value never changed. Your value never changed. Do you hear me? You. You, God say your value never changed. Do you hear me? All right, y'all. He said, but you, you keep discounting yourself. You keep discounting yourself. You watering yourself down. God say, do you know there is a drought on you? You're in high demand, honey. You're in high demand, brother. Do you hear me? You're in high demand. There's a drought on you. Everybody can't just get you. You ain't no regular, regular person. Do you hear me? Ain't like they gonna just find you everywhere. You ought to treat yourself like that. You ought to carry yourself like that. God said, do you know there is a drought on you? You are in high demand. Okay? You are in high demand. All right? God said, do you know your value? He said, let me tell you something. Those who, who want you and who need you, okay, they gonna value you. Okay? And when God gave me that, he said, a Jew... It's only valuable to the jeweler. All right, because y'all looking for people to value you. God say a Jew is only, or a jewel, because that sounds like I said Jew. A jewel is only valuable to a jeweler. God is the jeweler, okay? God is the jeweler. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your boyfriend, not your husband, not your child, not your best friend, not your old friend, your oldest friend who you had. They may not value you, okay? God say, I'm the jeweler. I value you because the value I have for you is what I place in you. God don't look at the outer appearance, okay? He ain't worrying about the bag. He ain't worrying about your clothes. He ain't worrying about your shoes. He ain't worrying about your hair, your wig. God say, listen, the value I put in you, you make that stuff. You ain't got to have on a Gucci bag that look like a million dollars. Come on now. You ain't got to have on a Prada shirt that look like a million dollars. You gonna look like it because of who you are. Come on now. Somebody say, oh, the clothes don't make me. Come on now. The man don't make me. Come on now. The job, the title don't make me. I make it. My I am the value. Come on now. I ain't going to preach too much. God say you keep changing your price. That's the problem. God say the problem is not that your value changed. The problem is he gave us the burden of setting our own price. You know, when you got your own job, well, I'm sorry, your own business, you get to set your own rate, right? God said you keep on shortchanging yourself. He said, let me tell you, the problem is a lot of y'all was letting people catch the bus for free. Come on now. You was discounting your rate. Some of y'all was overcharging. All right? Some of y'all was overcharging. Keep it a buck. You was overcharging. Or if you was undercharging, you was keeping the people, giving people discount, giving them pass. Oh, I see the good in everybody. Oh, 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 they got potential. God say ain't no potential. Either is or it ain't that. All right? You losing your value playing around. God said this is not a public bus. 
This ain't no mega bus. This ain't Dart. This ain't Marta. This ain't Rita. This ain't no public bus. He said, you gotta realize this is the magic school bus. Ah! God said, do you know? This is the magic school bus, baby. You the magic school bus. You getting all these friends, these men, these women. You know, you, you getting a relationship with people. You taking these jobs. They, that's beneath you, baby. Okay, I ain't speaking bad against nobody, but I came to build you up. Do you hear me? And I ain't God gave me this word. I'm about to give it to y'all how he gave it to me. He said one thing you got to remember about that magic school bus. You had to believe the riding. All right, if you ain't never saw the cartoon, the magic school bus, this is a little throwback, all right? I don't know how old you guys are, but God say, if you ain't saw it, you, I would encourage you to get it. He said, because in Miss Frizzle class, come on now, in Miss Frizzle's class, you had to believe to ride that bus. He said, one, another thing, they weren't people, many people in that class. There wasn't that many people in Miss Frizzle's class, all right? So it's not about all the people being around you, all right? It, it don't matter how many clients you got, that means your business is valuable. Don't mean it matter how many children you got to say your, your body is valuable. Some people been saying, oh, you ain't got no kids? You must got trash. Oh, you got 10 kids? And men will tell you, you got, you got 10 kids? Oh, you must got, you know, good. God like, mm-mm, that's not where your value lies. Your value do not lie in where the world see you. Oh, oh, she got a big house. He got a big house. Oh, they driving the Benz. They driving this. They doing that. God, so that there ain't no value. All that stuff going to turn into dust. They, they body. Y'all, y'all painting and fixing up y'all. That's going to be dust. And that's going to be dust. So what? I'm, we not even going to focus on that. God say, listen, your value don't come from what you have or what you do. It comes from who you are. All right, when we start placing our value on the right places, we'll stop feeling like we're losing our value. We're getting devalued. We, we got to set goals to make sure we value. God said you're valuable because I said you are. All right, every day you wake up, you should know I still hold value. God still find me worthy. He woke me up another day. Thank you, Lord. All right, as long as you wake up, you know you still hold value. All right, come on now. God say also, they were only focused. Miss Frizzle class, they were only focused on their classroom. I don't remember an episode, and if I'm wrong, I don't remember one episode where Miss Frizzle class was paying attention to what the other classrooms was doing. I don't even remember them showing anything outside the maybe the cafeteria in the front of the school. We don't even know what the rest of the school looked like. All right? They was minding their business. Okay? God said, your price... I'm about to give it to y'all. Okay, God, that was that for the magic school bus. God said your price and the fee, the rate that you should charge. Y'all ready for this? He said, this is how you get to have the magic school bus. Your price, your fee, your rate is fate. All right? First, you have to know if they're a believer. Before you partner up with that business partner, do they believe? And God said, y'all just be listening to people's words talking about, oh, holy, holy, I believe, I follow Jesus. God said, you got to look at the actions. Are they doing things? That's what I would do. Okay? I don't have to scheme. I don't steal. I don't, I don't cheat. I don't take shortcuts. I don't lie. I don't do things. Okay? I don't stunt. I don't gloat. Come on. God say a man that puts his armor on and is not supposed to boast like one who takes his armor off. All right. So God say you got to look at people and see, don't just take their word for it. All right. He said, um, you will be only, let me stop. Let me, let me go back. He said the body, he said, and when you, all right, this is what he said. He said, this is even, this for people who get in relationships or in relationships. Or y'all apply, just take the word. This is what he had me right now. But y'all take the word, you know, first of all, take it to God. All right. <laughs> you want to verify the source and you want to verify it's for you. Okay. God said, listen, if you marry because of fate, the body could change. The title could change. The income could change, but that will not change you. Okay, that will not change how you value your relationship, how you value your marriage. It, nothing will change because they fate didn't change. The only thing that will make you change your love or how you feel about this person, how much you want to put into this marriage, is when they start to walk out of the will of God. He said at that point, okay, I don't care if it's a friend. I'm, I'm God told me, stop saying I don't care. It could be a friend, okay? It could be your friend or your child, all right? You, as long as you're close to them, it, because of their fate, 
The only time that you will want to get away from them is when they start walking away from the word of God. And God said at that point, you start to, you pray for them. You say, I love you. You pray for them and you keep on on your journey. Okay. You don't curse them. You don't curse them. You say, I love you. I'll pray for you. And you keep going. All right. He said, but at that point, if you're married, he said, when your husband or wife start to walk away to the will of God, you have to choose. Will you follow them? Come on now. Well, I follow him. He's a cheater. Okay. He's this. He's, you know, they, whatever they doing. I ain't going to give no examples. Y'all know selling drugs or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If you okay in that, come on now. You okay putting that um, poison. I, I, I try not to say a lot of worldly things. That's what the problem is. I try to say things that the Bible, because we teach the Bible here. And I only can really tell y'all what the Lord put on my heart. And God is like, it's, it's, it's the things that defile you from the inside. Okay, you 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 see they deceitful. You feel like, oh, they, they talked about them, but they ain't going to talk about me. Trust me, if she's talking about somebody to you, she running her mouth about you too. He running her mouth. He running his mouth about you too. Pettiness don't stop with who it is. When you petty or you, or you messy, okay, you a little chatty patty, a negative nasty, that ain't going to stop with who you talking to. That's who you are. So if that's who you sit around, don't think they're going to stop when they, oh, they're going to feel like, oh, well, I'm not going to talk about Yada. I'm not going to, they you, girl, what's wrong with you? They gonna talk about you too. Anyway, moving on. God said you will choose to either go with him or, or go with the man or the woman who's going outside of the world of God or you will stay with him. And for me, I'm telling you, I'm gonna stay under his wing and I'm gonna be protected. I don't care who I ain't. You heard me? I'm in covenant with the Lord, nobody else. God said, start with faith. Do they believe? It could be a friend, lover, family, business partner, your job, etc. A lot of us, Take people's word. Oh, I just got that. I already said that. And, and actions speak louder than words. Don't take their words for their belief. Okay? He said, y'all keep wondering how, why you getting in these shaky situations. Why you ain't getting the pay you want. And all of this that nobody's driving you. He said, stop skipping step one. Stop skipping step one. Step one is to know and figure out if they believe. Some of y'all can't figure it out because step step two it, or step 13 is where you start. You're like, oh, no, I need this job really bad. I'm just going to go work there. And then you get in the job and you're like, God, they, keep, they don't even want, you know, work with me on the hours and they ain't paying me what I'm worth. God say, don't pray. You, you know, you should have prayed before you took that job. I would have told you, mm-mm. That ain't the job. That ain't the one. Okay. God said, y'all skipping step one. If it is a person. All right. He like, oh, you want to be their friend? That's cool. Figure out who sent them. Slow cook them. Talk to them. Listen to them. Slow cook them. All right. Stop just rushing into friendships and stuff like this. God said also this. They're going to start telling you stuff. You might hear stuff like this. You on your high horse. Mm, you on your high. How many times y'all heard that? Because they always, I always hear stuff like that. Okay. I used to at least because I didn't live so privately and meek. I haven't lived this meek in about 15 years. So, you know, it was always, oh, you on your high horse. I'm going to tell you what the Lord told me to tell somebody when they tell you that again. And this is what you tell them. Okay. I'm on my high lion. Ah, cause my daddy is, come on now, a lion. I'll be darned if I call my father a horse, okay? He said, you on your high lion. Okay, he said, this lion, you let him know, this lion, the world ain't provided, the world ain't given to me, and they can't knock it off, me off it. They can't take me off of it, okay? God said, the only way you can be removed from this lion or be taken from this lion is if you step off. He said, I want you to know, if you step off your high lion, you step it off on your own wrist. Okay, God said you step out off on the lion of that lion, you step off on your own wrist. He said you gotta remember the devil did not give you your position or your purpose. Okay, he can't take it away, but you can give it to him. He can leave you distracted. You can go, you could be saying now what they did, what they said, and getting off your lion. All right, the lion ain't like, oh, I gotta stop. I can't even move her. She done went got off the lion to go entertain the, the pigs, to go entertain the hyena, to go entertain whatever. Okay, God say don't entertain nothing. Be you can watch it. You gonna watch it. You can watch it. Come on now, you can watch it. But uh, you ain't got to get off your lion. All right, God say the devil know his future. All right, the devil already know his future. You already know the devil's future. He wants to see how many people he can get to join him in that future. God said this is the true meaning of misery love company. Okay, are you gonna be the devil's company? No, 
Don't be the devil's company, all right? Don't be the devil's company, y'all. Listen to me. God told, he said, you never lost your value, honey. Son, listen to me, honey, son, brother, uncle. Listen, God said you never lost your value. You never lost your value. You cannot. Because I value you. I place your, you can't even touch your value. You don't even know where your value lies. Okay? God said your value for me lies in your heart. Keep your heart clean. Keep your heart clean. Okay? I mean, a lot of people say, he, they think he's talking about the outside. When God say cleanliness is next to godliness. No, he's talking about your heart being clean. Because some of y'all got clean houses and clean this and that. Your, uh, your outer appearance is clean, but your heart is dirty. God said, I I'll take a person that got a dirty body. But a clean heart over a clean body and a dirty heart. Because I say, what that heart do? What that heart do? All right? That's your value. Your heart. Your heart. Position your heart. And I'm going to tell you something. When you position your heart right and you know how God value you and your heart posture is right, you can see in the spirit. And you can see. Mm-mm. They can't ride the bus no more. They ain't invite. They can't ride this, but it's talking about they believe, but they playing with fire. Come on now. They playing with fire. They like the what what MO3 God God um blessed his whole So he said, Lord, I know you love you know I love you, but I like to sometimes I do the devil's dance. God said, you got you gotta watch people that sometimes do the devil dance. All right, because they're gonna have you doing the devil dance. Okay, a little two-step. All right, y'all, listen. God say you have to remember that, guys. I don't know who it is, but I'm trying to drive it home to you. You can't lose your value, baby. Stop, stop cheap staping yourself, putting yourself on the clearance rack. When, when you get the right friends, when the right man, when the right woman come, when the right job come, baby, it going to value you. You hear me? You going to be valued. Most high. God say you already value most high because I value you. You heard me? God say I value you. You just have to realize the value that is in you. Okay, God has already placed, let me tell you the scripture he gave me. He said, listen, I'm about to preach it to y'all before I let y'all go. He said, you remember this. You are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. He said, do you light a candle and put it under the table? He said, no, you think I lit this light? You are the candle. You think I lit this light in you to put you under the table? No. I said, put it on top of the table so you should light up the whole room. Light up the whole room. You see how you know how valuable light is in a dark room? That's how valuable you are. That's how valuable people need you. People need you. They need your light. You know, you ever walked around a room in the dark? One of the worst things I hate doing, walking around a room in the dark. I don't like doing I'm on, I don't like doing it. Well, two things. The first one is stumping my toe on the edge of a bed. And some of y'all don't have rails no more, but back in, I don't like the stump, that, that piggy toe, <laughs> that pinky toe, ooh, baby, woo, make a person lose their religion, all right, <laughs> um, and the next thing is to step on toys, I have kids, and if I'm walking around in the dark and they left a toy down, ooh, it feel like that little toy is going to go through your, pierce through your skin, do you hear me, I be like, ooh, <laughs> do the little shake, ooh, <laughs> But for real, y'all, I'm telling y'all, God said you are the light. You are the light. Don't, you got to be the light because if you dim your light for darkness, it'll all just be dark. So God sent me here to let you know he sent you into that relationship. He sent you into that family. He sent you into that friendship. He sent you not to be consumed by the darkness, but to be the light. Okay? Don't be consumed. Y'all know yesterday I told y'all, don't sit at the table with the people you are to minister to. Do not sit at the table with non-believers. Do not. You can show them Jesus, but you let them, them see him work through you. You don't sit at the table and argue a point. Don't argue the point of the Bible. Oh, because God, don't do that. God can make his own arguments. God told me that early. Early. Like, I, like I'm going to give y'all a quick, just a quick little testimony, you know, um, somebody tried to argue the Bible with me um, early in my walk and I was like well God I don't know that because I really only read what the Holy Spirit leads me to or what I go to and study so I don't know the whole Bible guys look at this Bible if y'all think I've read this whole Bible in one year you're, you're, you're losing you're crazy and if you think I think I'm perfect like if, you want, if you're looking for me to be perfect you're following the wrong person because I'm far from perfect 
Okay, I'm human and so are you. All right. So, but God say he without sins cast the first stone. All right. All right. Now y'all, I ain't, this ain't no religion over here. This is kingdom over here. And Jesus said he came to save us all. All right. All right, y'all. Listen, I'm telling you right now, this Bible, get into it, build your faith, and then you build your relationships off faith. You go to jobs and stuff off faith. You not, not saying, who oh, Lord, I need a, uh, you know, I took this job, bless this job. No, God bless me to know which job to take. So I'm not wasting time. God say, thank you, Holy Spirit. Before I let y'all go, because I'm going to let y'all go. Holy Spirit said, your value comes from God. You start to lose your value or lose sight of your value when you accept less than you deserve. Stop settling. Okay? Stop settling. I don't know who that was for. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, guys. I love you all. I pray that this word was a blessing because it blessed me. If it blessed you, again, go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Um, and feel free to share, comment. Okay, thank you all for what all, for all that you're doing. The Lord is definitely building this family, guys. Listen to me. Y'all, I thank you all for the seeds that you're sowing. Okay, I pray that the Lord continue to bless you all as you and even if you if you can't um give and you want to give, I, I'm still praying because this is a time where I couldn't pay, um give. Okay, I couldn't sow. But I'm sowing now and I know that the Lord is good, guys. Even from you watching my videos, uh sharing, commenting, that is you giving to the kingdom of God. Okay, you sowing. You ain't got to sow seeds with money. All right, Jesus paid it all. God provide for his children. Okay? All right, so guys, y'all be well. I love you all. God loves you. Take care. Stay safe. Be blessed. Go in peace, family.